What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make the hairbrush effect using the gradient tool. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to come over here to your swatches. And then you want to go to your, your little swatch library right here. The little book symbol. Then you want to go up to gradient. And then you want to go to neutrals. After you go there, you want to select the one right beside this black anger. You want to select neutral 17. I ain't know it had a number beside it. You want to select neutral 17. After you select it, you want to go to this little chart right here on the side, this gradient chart. And then you want to delete these two colors on the outside. The one in the center, what you want to do, you want to bring the brightness up in the center. And then if you need it a little brighter, just move these up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's cool. Now you want to pull these little bars a little closer to the center like that. And now what you can do, come to your uh your brush tool, and now you got the goddamn hairbrush you see me use in all my videos. And see what we need to do. We need to go back to that brush. And we need to make sure both of the edges is 100% black so it'll fade in better. So I'm gonna make that 100% black. After I do that, let's go back to our brush tool and see what we looking like, okay. And now we officially made our brush tool. Let me use it, go ahead and show y'all how this thing look. And sometimes when you get it and it ain't flowing right just like this, you see how this not flowing, but these hairs over here is flowing perfectly. What you want to do, select the hairs that ain't flowing, just highlight them. Then you want to come over here and move these numbers until you got the gradient or the, the lighter part of the gradient sitting in the center. You know what I'm saying? Now we got a nice little flow. They give a nice little hair effect. And just anytime the gradient ain't sitting in the center, you just select it. You move it around. Change these numbers. You move it around till you get it exactly where you want it. And that's pretty much how you make the hair effect using the gradient. Make sure you hit that like button, man. Comment, subscribe, stay tuned, cause more heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.